You're listening to From the Grassroots, where we agitate for social change with music and commentary. From the Grassroots, reporting from the front lines in America's race war. Coming to you live and uncensored, this is The Hype Podcast. I'm Oso oh Fresh with my co-host, yet to be named. That's me. We talk about everything from new gadgets, gizmos, politics, movies, and music. And our very own personal stories, because you know a motherfucker has to keep it real. Yeah. All right. They're not even filming the camera. This motherfucker. <laughs> hey, so if you listen to the audio, this is a podcast extra. There's no filming. The- <laughs> Oh no, it's action! Oh, that, <laughs> there's a fucking film in the camera. <laughs> this son of a bitch. We just did the best segment of our lives. And this son of a bitch right here that he recorded. We weren't filming when we spoke and this because ch- Justin didn't do his job. And, and check, <laughs> and check this out. This motherfucker set up. He set up the camera so he has to walk in front of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what have, son of a bitch! What? This is the same guy who tried to fucking light his weed with matches earlier too. We'll, we'll have you as a guest on the show. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the big deal. <laughs> this motherfucker and it's windy too. <laughs> <laughs> you felt so bad for him that you fucking walked upstairs and, and I'm got a, him a I, I'm, a, I'm a lazy piece of shit, but I was like, you need a lighter, bro. I just got to help you out. Here he goes. Here he goes. <laughs> this motherfucker did he the just fucking commando crawled underneath uh, oh, the shit. fucking film. <laughs> I guess he thinks somebody will see this yeah. shit. <laughs> hey, I want to thank the people that are fucking with us on YouTube. And you, Dizzy Boucher, shut the fuck up. No way. What's, I, a, what's a Dizzy Boucher? He was like, you guys should label the episode and put some links up. Hey, I'm one guy. You should fucking lick, uh, a, hey, lick hey, a dirty butthole, but you you're not going to do that. You should be very excited that I'm talking about your punk ass. <laughs> but I still hold you in less regard than I do for my man Justin. Weed with matches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. This wait, is, wait, wait, wait. Before, before we even get into this, who the fuck names themselves Dizzy Boucher? <laughs> <laughs> he was our intern for like one week. Oh, that guy. Yeah, that guy. Jesus Christ. Yeah, go fuck yourself, dude. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah. I, you ain't showed up since. Yeah, if you want to help out, don't criticize me in public because I don't go for that shit very well. And bring me a goddamn coffee. You got my goddamn number. Hit yeah. a motherfucker up. <laughs> go put you on blast, like on social media. I like on. on. <laughs> <laughs> fucking comments on the page it'd be so much better if you put up links yeah. you know me you know where I live but you go approach me on fucking Facebook you know any motherfucker that doesn't say to your face what they'll say on Facebook fuck them you, there's somebody in your life like that think about them right now take a second concentrate focus focus fuck them <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no th- this is how much uh, this is how much I know and or care about that guy I had to ask who the fuck it was no, I just had, I to, had to ask who I was. just uh, just in case you're watching. Yeah, he I, ain't watching because I, because I'm watching you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, check this out. This is the hype podcast. I am the host with no name. I'm DJ Oso oh Fresh. And fuck your life. Yeah, and you should really get in touch with us. It's four four two nine 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 H Y P E. If you have a telephone. <laughs> and if you don't get one if you don't but you must obviously have the internet you can email us it's the hype podcast at gmail.com or fuck with us on facebook you know that facebook.com forward slash the hype podcast and if you do have a telephone and you fuck with twitter it's at the hype podcast don't text us because also doesn't keep his text messages very well just saying i just lost all my text messages it was crazy <laughs> like I, w- I walked in this morning and Oso was like where'd all my text messages go and i looked around the room and no, i, I, I have to messages. say with, with my phone my phone has been on full for like the last week i've deleted everything i think i'm i'm deleting the operating system on the fucking phone it'll still say an iphone it'll still say it's full you know what i got an iphone and my iphone was functional until this point two and a half years no problem isn't it I'm like good. a 4s still no i don't have a 4s I have, have? I have a 5s oh okay thank you so <laughs> thank he's like two revs behind i am two revs for an behind. apple guy he's two revs no behind. no because i got i got off in my cycle because i was i was broke two years ago so <laughs> i got off in my cycle his monthly cycle ladies. yeah i got off in my my upgrade cycle <laughs> so <laughs> I 
know, like, like I, <laughs> you had, to, I had to watch your brain yeah. lock up for a second. Yeah, like, uh, like, uh, I, like I'm up on, on my uh, co-host upgrade cycle too. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> uh, I got off on my cycle. Now it's so late. I just gotta go get the next one. Like I've never. I, I was on the two-year plan. Dude, they come out with fucking phones every three months. There's no reason to go buy another phone for like two years anyway. You're gonna uh, you're gonna buy one, and the next month they're gonna be like, "Well, now that you bought that one, here's but, a brand new one." No, but that's the problem. They're not. They're not. Th- that's done. Like, who's coming up with like really new shit for a phone? Right. No I shit. mean, the last big thing was like the fingerprint. And I was like, "That's all right." I mean, I'm just having to be upgrading <laughs> right now, so <laughs> it's good that I'm getting that. But what feature are you gonna add to a phone? Seriously, they can't add shit. They're like, oh, we put a better processor in it. No, you didn't. The only thing you could do to improve a phone is put a vagina on it. That's about it. I mean, there's (laughs) nothing else you could do to improve the fucking phone. But Apple, I mean, Apple usually proves me wrong, and I'll be like, damn. I did want that in my phone. (laughs) No, you want want to improve your phone, Android? Get... Give me a fucking app that tells me where police are when I'm drinking and driving. Okay. Get- no, they tried to do that. Did they? Actually, they had a speeding app like that, and they said that they uh, they had to take it down. What a bunch of cunts. Yeah, it was like the setup, like like it was just like Waze. It was a few years ago. It was just like Waze, and people were report, "Hey, saw yeah. a cop." <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You know what? You know what they need? They need an app that fucking tells you where all the bump camps are, like downtown, the downtown area. Like, well, why do you, why you need a map for that? So you can avoid the I fucking mean, places, hey, just, man. Hey, just do a 360. There's one. Yeah. There's, one there's one in every corner. <laughs> no, you I know there's th- there's three things that we have a shitload of. That is Starbucks, weed stores, and bum camps. Four <laughs> things and strip clubs. And strip. Eh, there's strip clubs don't really number up there with weed stores. The, we have the mo- we have the second most strip clubs in the United States besides per Springfield. Springfield. Springfield, Oregon. No, oh, we might be third then. I don't know. There's some, there's some little weird town that has like six strip clubs and there's like 2,000 people in the town. Oh, yeah. Per capita. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking hilarious. In case you guys are wondering what I, what I'm uh, fiddling with in my hands, the Hype Podcast Pause. Live, bitches. See that? Whoa. Extreme close up right there. This Friday, 6 West Lounge. If you motherfuckers don't show up and you're watching this right now, fuck your life. And don't show up again halfway through, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. I was there. We saw you. Oh, yeah. Fuck Mike. Yeah. <laughs> If you don't know Mike, <laughs> fuck Mike. And I witnessed it. Why? Why? What did he do this time? I uh, just—I mean, I just hadn't—you know—that's that's the way I greet Mike. Oh, hey, fuck Mike. Yeah. Some I people. Mean, I, some people say hello. Some people say what's up. He says fuck Mike. Yeah. I mean, but hey, I want to thank you. I do want to thank you again for hanging out. Throw you some applause and whatever. The fuck. Yeah. For the whole twenty minutes he was there. Yeah. Why are you fucking commando crawling again? Why? Why? <laughs> God. He's like it's like an episode of The that, Walking Dead. That, in that here. is our director Justin, as we as we noted before, <laughs> and we I just have to let you know that he likes to commando crawl. Oh God, have, have you been drinking today? Is that why you're fucking? No, Justin. Does, Justin doesn't drink. Nope. You don't drink. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Justin, does, it's the sulfur getting to him. But you know, you, you know, you drunk when. Oh my fucking lord, dude! You know you're drunk when number one. I thought when you're crawling across the fucking floor. Now you know you're drunk when you're at a fucking work party, and you catch the girl like your coworkers looking at you, and then you walk up just to say hello, and their fir- their first words out of their out of their mouth are, "Is that your girlfriend?" And you don't have an answer. You just kind of sit there and go, "Yeah, kind of." Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go with yeah. And then yeah flies out of your mouth, and you go, "Wait, what are you guys drinking?" And they just kind of look at you like that is not what I asked you. I stood there. I had my crown in my hand, and there was a group of my coworkers, and they were like, "They were <laughs> well, like, you oh, look, is this your girlfriend?" And dude, I was you, like, "What are you guys drinking?" Dude, you look like a fucking boob and yeah. douche. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> right, because you know, with you, 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 you hesitated because you saw opportunity slipping yeah. away. <laughs> that was some nice at work <laughs> pussy I could have had, but I'm here with my girlfriend. Hey, but you know what? I'm not that guy. Yeah, I'm not gonna be like, oh, nah, this is just my date. You know, blah blah. I, I'm not gonna do that. That's fucked up. You can't do that. Yeah, exactly. Because a respectable woman would be like. The fuck you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just your fucking date. 
you can date and drop me off. Yeah, yeah, right. If I'm with you, I'm with you. I mean, and once you say I'm with you, you can't take it back. Mm -hmm. You can't go. You can't. You can't go one place and be like, oh, this is my girlfriend, and then go another place like, oh, this is my date. Right. Because they'd be like, nah. It's, it's either it, one of these things is not like the other. This is the bitch that drove and is leaving yeah. your ass here. That's who the fuck this is. <laughs> No, that that is true. She actually did drive last night. She was the DD, so I didn't want to be like, "Oh yeah, this is a uh, this is my driver." Hey, but, hey, but I got I got I got to ask: Did the DD get some D? <laughs> I I had to pay her somehow. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she charges me by the hour, so you know she and she collected last night. I don't even understand how that works. Yeah, what? I mean, what, what does the bill look like? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but I, you know, it's signed in white. I'm just saying. No, <laughs> no as a matter of fact, paid in full. Yeah, oh. yeah. yeah. yeah paid in full. Smack oh. it up, flip it, oh. rub it down. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, we getting it. Oh, fucking hell. How was your Friday the 13th, by the way? It was good. It was uh, uneventful. Uneventful? Yeah. What? I, I mean, I thought I, I thought I thought for a long time I was an unlucky person because I was born on Friday the Thirteenth. But thank you, Google. I went yeah. back and looked. I was born on Saturday the Thirteenth. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Bro, ham <laughs> missed it by that much. Oh, shout out to my uh, to my uh, oh Ken 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 uh, Barry yeah, yeah. Was, <laughs> having his birthday today. We're gonna let Oso get his life together and take a break. We'll be right back here on the Hype Podcast. <laughs> we are back here on the Hype Podcast. Yeah, I yeah. am the host with no name. <laughs> uh, my name is DJ Oso oh Fresh, and uh... <laughs> hey, and, and you know, I, I gotta, I gotta take a minute because you brought it up last segment about people telling us what the fuck we should do on our show. Yeah, Dizzy, I'm going back to you. I had I had some Boucher. <laughs> Boucher. Boucher. <Yeah. laughs> Boucher. <laughs> no, I had somebody else the other day. And I and I've heard you tell stories like this before. Number one, they're not they they don't have a podcast, number one. No, you don't. Number two, they're working a shitty nine to five job. Number three, you don't really fuck with my show. You just hear me talk about it. And you're going to fucking sit there and be like, man, you should totally, totally fucking do this on your show. What do you say? Oh. What do you say? Go on. Oh. Go oh. on. I got to hear this shit. You, well, I'm not going to name names, but no, uh, no. oh, oh, you, dude, why'd you have this person on your show? Man, man, they're, they're fucked up. They said some shit about me and, and my people, man. Fuck them. I don't like them. First of all, you don't have a hype, you don't have a hype podcast. Hold on. We had somebody on the show. We had somebody on the show. They didn't like. And they heard me like talking personally about, did like, not like personally did not like they heard me talking about it <laughs> and they were like they were like man fuck them and I'm like wait a minute first of all oh, this you, is amazing first hey. of all you don't have a fucking radio show number one shout out yeah. to that guy <laughs> yeah. shout out to that <laughs> number, number two you work a fucking regular nine to five job sucking the fucking lonely dick of life on the corner for cotton candy not doing shit with yourself and you're gonna tell me how to fucking do my show i can't believe this we had somebody on the show that <laughs> somebody paid enough attention to say they didn't like somebody that was on the show <laughs> and they're still owing right now yeah. no i could not believe that i was like you there is no you have no grounds to fucking talk about my show or the guests i have on my show when you're fucking working a regular nine to five job i'm definitely not I, doing shit i had a situation like that recently where I brought up somebody that we had on the show because, you know, I like to keep it real with you. But I mean, sometimes <laughs> you, you you start naming names when it comes to who doesn't like who. It could cause a necessary amount of drama. And like somebody was like, oh, you have them on? I'll fuck with them. <laughs> <laughs> and then gave me the A, B and C about it. And I was like, oh, well. It was a good interview. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> Because I would tell you one thing that runs deep, deeper than the fucking Willamette, beef runs deep in this fucking town. It really My, does. Hey, a motherfucker will not like you from high school on. Hey, there's a <laughs> couple motherfuckers I met in preschool that I'm not exactly cool with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not exactly. I ran into an old boss at a fucking job that I had like 10 years ago. And that, that broad was like, oh, my God, give me a hug. And I was like, nah, I ain't fucking with you like that. <laughs> like, nah, I don't give a shit about seeing you ever again. That shit is that shit's so fucking phony. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is, I mean, there's people I see that I used to work with them. It's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was because like a, you know we weren't barbecuing when I worked with you, fool. Why? Yeah. Why I want to be all excited about you now? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. weren't you weren't excited when I fucking came into work. You know, you weren't you weren't like, oh, that's fucking. I'm so glad you're here. Fuck hey, you. Hey, 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 no hate. Sixty views or not, I still own my shit. Check that out. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is this is mine. I will never be fired. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Check that out. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but. It ain't no crime to run your own shit. Yeah, <laughs> this is, we are not the trailblazers in the playoffs. Okay, we can't we can't be fucking so, beat out. We can't be swept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Under the Check it out, rush. Lillard. You would have won if you would have came on the fucking show. <laughs> I got friends in Oakland, <laughs> and they you, have, and you're, they I know you. I know you're from Oakland, but I got friends that be there when you ain't there. That could have taken care of Curry's leg. <laughs> <laughs> we could have we could have Nancy Kerry. I you. mean. I, Hey, I put that theory down last week. Hey, a Tanya Harding championship is not a bad thing. <laughs> Just gotta run that back at you. And I hope you, I hope you fuck with the show. Fucking Naeem fucks with the fucking Blazers. I saw his shit. Yeah, he yeah. was down there on the court. He was, and shit. On, he was on the fucking kiss cam. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, hey! Now that you're now that you got some time hey, off from hey, basketball, Damien, come on the show. Come kick it with us. Come say what's up to the hype. Oh, he was on the fucking court, huh? Yeah, yeah. Naeem was down on the court. Yeah. Why, wait a minute. Why the fuck didn't Naeem like step over to Lillard and be like, "Hey, man, we got this fucking radio show. What, what, what's happening?" He want to fuck up his kicks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm gonna put my clean, clean kicks on this fucking sweaty, dirty floor. <laughs> now you even got style. Yeah, Stay. every fucking day that guy comes in here with a new outfit. I don't think I've seen him wear the same thing twice nah, since yeah, we started yeah, this nah, fucking exactly. show. I'm just saying, I mean, really. I, I, that, I, I, that Thorn City yeah. Syndicate shit is dope. Yeah, that shit is dope. If you, hey, if you aren't fucking with uh, Matrix Media and Thorn City Syndicate, get your fucking life together, dude, okay? They got some fat fucking gear going on. And. Uh, Dude, hats are a point. I'm just saying. Hey, you know, and if you're playing the drinking game, you should drink now because this is one of the few times we actually mention our sponsor. <laughs> 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 no, but uh, no, nah, but Golden State just had to put hands on fucking Portland. I'm sorry, oh, and everybody's like, "Oh, if they're such a young team, they'll be back." Hey, I don't give a fuck. You did you win today? Right, exactly. No. <laughs> you are not promised tomorrow. <laughs> no, I thought it was my brother. I thought it was fucking awesome that they're like, yeah. There, Portland was up in three of the four games that they lost. Like, that's the key word. They lost. Like, like, like we, my, that's when, still my team. When we look back in history, now that it's history is like a week old, right? Hey, they just lost. Yeah, they fucking nobody's lost. gonna think about if they led by a thousand the whole game. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nobody gives a fuck. They lost. No, and Go not, Golden State only had to play one quarter three of those four games they only had to play the fourth quarter and that was it yeah they just had to hang out yeah the, re the mean, they, they, other three quarters they were just chilling and this goes out to you portland <laughs> yeah i just had to say that but i will say this fuck golden state i hope okc kicks the shit out of them the next man round. curry curry's doing it man i want to see curry and, and the Cavs go at it no i don't no fuck that i don't care i just want golden state to lose because they beat my team so i'm, I'm rooting against team? them the blazers oh I yeah know, i know that yeah, oh. that's yeah, that's my fucking oh, you're a Blazer dude. fan. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys had no idea, no fucking idea whatsoever. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a Blazer fan. Yeah, no, I just got to root against the team that beat my team. So go OKC. I Even root, though Russell Westbrook's root, a I, fucking punk, I root for keeping my money in my pocket, so I'm not a good Blazer fan. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I can go see a, a, a high quality movie for a lot less. Well, that is true. I mean, there isn't a lot of high quality movies out. At the moment. But you said uh, the new Captain America is the shit. The new Captain America is the shit. And I, I actually like the best saw movie ever? You know, not the best movie ever, but it was way better than Batman versus Superman. That's way a, better. That's not a high bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's way better than listening to Donald Trump talk. How's that? Oh, no. Donald Trump is actually very interesting. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it's way better than listening to Donald okay, Trump talk. Okay, that's a, that's a bar because yeah, no matter what you want to say about Donald Trump, he is pretty fucking interesting to listen to. And he's it, he's technically like the unofficial nominee right now, right? He, he's presumptive. Presumptive. Yeah. Explain that to me. I don't know. I, unofficial sounds more accurate to me. I don't Be know. because oh, I forgot. Dumb motherfuckers that listen to the show. Yeah. <laughs> white uh, white he, people he, listen to the Donald, show. Donald Trump has enough votes where nobody could come in and you know and and take 
Right. He has enough votes. He has enough delegates where nobody's going to come in and beat him. So he's the presumptive nominee, and everybody else quit the race. So why why don't they just wave the white flag and let him step in? They still have to have the convention. Seriously, they can't just be like, well, no. I, I just want you people to remember that none of this is by law. This is all a private institution. None of this has to happen the way it does. And it's kind of amazing that the government assists this private inst- institution called right. the Republican and the Democratic Party to do these things. Because the primaries, they should pay for them their fucking selves. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? You think me? about all the money, you know, because we're having a primary here in Oregon. You think about all the money they put into to all the voter shit? Right. And it's just, that's, that's not part of the government. Oh, dude, it's because both of those uh, parties facilitate the bigger agenda. They're both. They're all on the same team. The bigger agenda, like like monkey, like, like keeping themselves rich. Yeah, that's it. yeah. It's that's a, it. you know we're we're ruled by aristocrats. You know what I'm saying? I mean, dude. I mean, a farmer doesn't get elected except for Jimmy Carter, yeah. and he sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was a peanut farmer, and he sucked at he sucked at being president. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, well, Ronald Ronald Reagan was like half schizophrenic, wasn't he? Something like that. No, actually, you know, uh, Will Ferrell got in trouble because they were going, they were shop, they were shopping a script around for yeah. a movie where Ronald Reagan would have. I mean, he, Will Ferrell would play uh, Ronald Reagan with dementia. I right. mean, because he was. I mean, you know, in the later days, yeah, he he did. I think what he had Alzheimer's or something. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Alzheimer's. Yeah, yeah Alzheimer's. he had Alzheimer's. Yeah, Alzheimer's. What, 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 <laughs> it's what, Alzheimer's. All, it's <laughs> Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> He's an Alzheimer president because <laughs> <laughs> you forget shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> All timers. <laughs> <laughs> so if it, if it ends up being Trump Hillary, which it probably is, who are you voting for? Um, I don't know. That's a tough question. I'm voting, I, I'm I don't, voting for I, Ed Baker. I don't like that kind of rhetoric on the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, yeah, he says the man wearing a jam and ninety five point five hey, sweatshirt. Hey, throw, throw back, Paul Allen. Thank you for bringing hip hop to my city. <laughs> Thank you for making Kabu look like shit for a while. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. So, who are you voting for? That's a tough decision because I really don't want to vote for anybody. I mean, I feel like I don't want to exercise my right to vote, but I have to because it's really important election. But I don't know. I might vote for fucking Trump, dude. See, I mean, well, we're, I'm not. I'm not voting for the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so just get that shit fucking straight. It has nothing to do with you. You being a woman, it's the fact that you and your husband are fucking crooks. I, that's what it is. <laughs> shit. I mean, at least Donald Trump ain't trying to lie about the kind of crook he is. Yeah, uh, that is true. Yeah, and yeah. and I think Monica Lewinsky said it best. There's been a photo floating around saying I, I'm voting for Trump because the last Clinton left a bad taste in my mouth. Wow. <laughs> wow. But no, this see the elections and this whole fucking bipartisan nonsense to me is it's it's all false. It's all fake, right? Man, much like yeah, the, you know, it's fake. They elected a black guy twice. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is, <laughs> no, this is a crazy anatomy. You know, what I'm saying? No, you don't, you don't, going going to vote nowadays to me is like choosing acceptable life drugs. Like what? Like what am I gonna do today that isn't gonna fuck up the rest of my life? Yeah, like like like, like you can. You and, can go I mean, out so and, we're we're going. Oh, what this is uh, between meth and what? I, I mean, dude. Okay, if Trump you, is meth and what is Hillary? Yeah, yeah, yeah heroin. <laughs> like fucking meth and heroin. Am I gonna go? Am I gonna wake up today and do some cocaine? Am I gonna wake up and fucking uh, do some meth or some heroin? Like, what what are you gonna do? Because you can get up, smoke weed every day. Your life will be okay. Yeah, you're gonna make it. You can do coke once in a while. Yeah, no big deal. Your right. life will be okay. <laughs> you're gonna make it. You go grab some fucking PTSD in a bag, aka meth. Or Donald Trump, you fucking do that shit once, your shit is fucked. So no, I think uh, Hillary would be crack, and, and <laughs> Trump would be mad. Just those, free base and Yeah, it's crack. just <laughs> because you'd have to be smoking crack. And yeah, you and your husband put a lot of people in jail for a really long time for fucking around with crack with those tougher laws. So I just got to say that Trump has never made a law. <laughs> 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 Trump, Trump hey, probably can't there, even spell law. There is an advantage to never having any public service in your background. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody could say, well, hey, well, you made that law. No, I didn't. I yeah. built that building right there. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I employ people. No, you know, and and that's another key element to this whole thing, too, is that, number one, first and foremost, I'll just put it out there. I hate it when politicians talk military 
and have never been in the military. I hate it when politicians talk business and have never owned or ran a business. So Trump can talk about running a business. He knows how to fucking build and run business. He can't talk about the military. Correct. That is correct. And he, he talks about the military he does, very, he po- does. very poorly. He, do, he does. And, I, <laughs> and we're just going to move the tanks around. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like the game Risk. It, it, it's like uh, when Trump talks about the military, it's like talking to a five-year-old. And we're going to take all <laughs> the tanks out of China. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fucking ridiculous to me when politicians do that. So I, I'm happy about the fact that one, he can talk about business. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that I'm. I'm happy. You that know, he, because he I owned that. I owned this board game growing up. Yeah, <laughs> I, I did. I did. But you know what I do? What I, what I do kind of agree with him on the military is like the Cold War is fucking over. And we have a lot of shit installed in a lot of places that were put there to keep right. Russia at bay during the Cold War. And that shit's like over. So we're paying de- defense budgets for a lot of other motherfuckers. That, yeah. That, Dude, and that shit's ridiculous. Get over that shit. Like, like you said, it's fucking over. It's fucking over. We don't need to be the fucking asshole America that just has our shit everywhere, that comes home, uh-huh. that comes home, just fucking throws our shit everywhere, never cleans our fucking house. Ever I we mean, don't we don't ever put our shit away. I we mean, just fucking leave it out there. No, you just no, yeah, yeah, kind of I mean, like your house. Yeah, like my house. <laughs> you, you come home, you come to my house. You can you can see what I wore over the last week. It's in a lot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's it's straight up. I mean, I'm not playing. My house is the same way though. I can't hate on you. I, I mean, just I leave my shit strewn about here. Yeah, 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 Justin, yeah. goddamn it, just walk past the table. Fucking hell. Hey, hey, can you see what? Can you see what? <laughs> oh no, you suck. Safe. Hey, he's fucking safe. Hey, he just baseball. If you could do the Roger table. Rabbit, that'd be dope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do the do the fucking Cupid shuffle. <laughs> one one fucking one, minute, holy we got, god! We got one minute left. Hey, don't forget oh, check man. out the Hype Podcast Live Six West Lounge at May twentieth, seven to nine. There is going to be a cover this time because we have some bad motherfuckers in the building. All right, five dollars. Don't forget. Hey, for dudes, if you're abroad. I'm sorry if you're a lady. If, 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 you're, if you're a lady, yeah, if, you, if, if you're a lady, just you're, leave the titties out. If, if you're a lady, you look good. You like the sip cognac? I'll get you in for free. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Hype Podcast. We'll be back. Holy fucking god, that was quick. Wow, it, I, I'm thinking of the old school. Man, we should have done an Audible commercial. <laughs> I listen to this podcast. I, I listen to podcasts. This motherfucker doesn't. Um, if you really want a dope podcast and you're a smart guy. Listen to the Hype Podcast. You already listened to the Hype Podcast. <laughs> this is the third segment of the show. You're already fucking with it. Dan Carlin, history, hardcore history. Got to fuck with it. Damn, is he is he fucking signing you checks or what? No, no, no it's a podcast. You're supposed to help people out. If somebody oh, okay. was mentioning my shit on their shit, I might have a couple more listeners. <laughs> just saying, you know, I mean, I, hey, I, I listen to podcasts, so I just want to give you a, a couple podcasts that I fuck with. As a matter, before you go into that, I'm just gonna tell you just what you said. If motherfuckers maybe gave us a mention, Dreadhead Twins, they they shared their interview. Of the hype podcast when you know, we were at the grody board, let me, let me, and they didn't even fucking tag us in it. Let me tell you about the Dreadhead Twins. <laughs> <laughs> let me, Can I get a drum roll, please? Uh, let, me tell, let me tell you about the Dreadhead Twins. <laughs> I appreciate your enthusiasm. Enthusiasm, excuse me. It's just, <laughs> enthusiasm. It's, it's, it's been it's been a long weekend. <laughs> no, something, something something's going on. These braces are bothering me this week. Anyway, um, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but if you're going to be smart enough to download our video from YouTube <laughs> and upload it to Facebook so you can get the views and we don't, at least cut it to just your interview. I'm just saying that would be the smart, <laughs> that'd be the smarter thing to do. Hey, hey I, I mean, just I appreciate- fucking tag us in the post. Just, I mean, you could have just, you could have just linked it on over. I mean, I, I'm not hating. Now, <laughs> now I understand what it's like when somebody like steals your music. Like, no, no I, wanna, I know why Universal fucking emailed us and were like, "Stop using our shit now." Yeah, yeah, I know why now. Yeah, because I, I, I just wanted the views. I mean, <laughs> really, because on Facebook there there was an ample number of views, but I don't like fucking with Facebook for at least my video purposes. Right, but yeah, definitely shout out to the Dreadhead Twins. You got to check them out. They will be performing at the Hype Podcast Live in August, so make sure you check them out. Get really and, familiar and and, and fucking. Alvin with the ball head that was on here who said that 
he could have slayed us if we were. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, shout you know, shout you out know, to my boy you know, Alvin. You know what? I got to talk shit to a former guest. Alvin, if you really felt like you didn't bring it last time, you better go A game this time because. Yeah, I, I don't like. I don't want to see you on stage or on YouTube crying about how you got <laughs> shit on on the hype podcast. I just want to say that and get that out the way. So a little, so a little bit of backstory on that, real quick. I was talking to Alvin, and he was like, "Yeah, man, I, I didn't want to steal you guys' thunder, so I just kind of sat quietly." I will pull your mic, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you mean? Steal my thunder. So yeah. he he said he would love to come back on the show. And be a little bit more prepared this time. So I said, Al, why don't you come do our live show in August? And he said, uh, oh, okay, cool, man. Are we going to do it kind of like a Tonight Show vibe? And I he's said, yeah. He's a big yeah. boy. He knows what he said. What'd you yeah. say? <laughs> exactly. So he's going to be at the Hype Podcast Live in August. Uh, dates to be determined. And also, we're going to have an exclusive uh, video performance. Date and venue to be determined. Date and venue to be determined. Hey, no, no shade. I'm just saying, yeah. we might have to move the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no shit, eh? Yeah. So, what do we got going on the rest of the day? Do we know yet? I mean, are you doing anything today on on a Sunday fun day? Uh, hooking up with the fam and chilling out. Oh, I got a I got a computer job today. Where where's your where's your dog during all this? With my sister. Oh, okay. Wait, yeah. wait. Has she been at your sister's house all day? No, my sister took her this morning. Oh, she actually got her out of the fucking house. Yeah. Because when I rolled up this morning. Your dog was sitting on the porch going, what is that on the fucking ground? And she like put her paw in it and like looked at her paw and was like, nah, that shit's wet. I'm going back inside. Yeah, my dog doesn't fuck around. You, you know, got dog, a bougie ass fucking dog. Yeah, my, dog <laughs> my dog, uh, if my dog knew how to, if my dog had an opposable thumb, she would show you ID and say she was a person. <laughs> she was like, yeah. No, nah, because your uncle opened up the door, let her out. She put her paw down, looked at the paw, Looked up at him like, nah, motherfucker, we ain't, we ain't yeah. about to do this. No, and it. then turned around and walked back inside. It's wet out here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I, she said, it's wet out here for nah, a dog. I mean, I mean for her, she, she got to go pee. Yeah, she's good. But other than that, hey, it's wet. <laughs> she ain't fucking with it. You think I'm just, you think I'm just going to run around and do some dog shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> That'd be ludicrous. And, that. and, not, and not to mention, last week, you had to fucking change up her food. Because uh, she w- wouldn't fucking eat the dry food anymore. So it, it's uh, here, here's how it works. I got a pretty busy life, and sometimes I'm pretty in and out. Right. And like my dog is not allowed to roam free because she will tear up the fucking blinds. To be honest with you, and it's an expensive habit. Cheaper to do meth. <laughs> so, so my dog will eat and eat quickly. Mm-hmm. I, I I switch to wet food. I mean, I was just like, yeah. I mean, I she gets bones all the time, so her teeth will stay fucking hard. But I'm just like, yeah, I don't have time for you to. <laughs> I mean, because she with dry food, she'll nibble, come back. She's like, I might get a table scrap. I want to leave room for that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, it may. I mean, it, it's like sometimes I'll be sitting there like, man, this, this shit. You and your finicky ass make me want to drink. Yeah. <laughs> and if you if you've never seen midget. Check out other fucking episodes. Uh, she is on here licking her vagina <laughs> <laughs> on an episode. But yeah, she is, she's the most prissy little fucking dog you'll ever meet. Somebody will walk in the studio and she'll bark like she owns the fucking place. Yeah, that's that's the dog. But yeah, you have to go back and check out previous episodes. You know, we've done like 30 episodes on video. Damn. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Now, you will be able to remember this time in your life. Yes. Well, somebody will be a member, not me. Uh, but now, did you know that you can actually bring dogs on airplanes now? Like your little, you have a little portable handheld sized dog. You can bring them on airplanes and have them in your lap now. Did you know that? I've seen that. Yeah. I don't know why. Oh, though, no, they're adding a doggy bathroom to the PDX. Right. Yeah. That's the how fuck? fucking ridiculous. We is got that? homeless people on the fucking street, and they're at a doggy <laughs> bathroom. No, I can, I can I bring booze. I, mean, I can bring booze on an airplane, but I can't drink it. And you got a fucking doggy bathroom going in. How about how about we fix what we already got right now? Okay, <laughs> we got bridges falling, but we got doggy <laughs> bathrooms. We got kids that are flunking out of fucking school, but we got fucking doggy bathrooms. I mean, give me a piece of the soapbox and let's prioritize things here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> the dogs have a bathroom, and you know what? I'm gonna tell you like this. I can't smoke in the fucking airport, and the dog got a fucking bathroom. Yeah, and I will tell you that. Cigarettes employ way more people than dogs do. 
<laughs> yeah, whether you know, it be picking that shit or selling it rudely at the fucking 76 across the street. <laughs> people are employed and are, the dog's got a bathroom. Right? But if I take liquor on a plane, yeah. I can't no. I, I can have liquor with me, but I can't drink it. Right. And you, they they charge for liquor on the plane. Six six dollars minimum for a little fucking baby airplane bottle. Minimum. I love airplane bottles. Dude, seriously. Yeah. Those are the business. Yeah. And, but you're you're a prof- I mean, you you're know, a professional though. A professional. Like we, we we walked into the fucking studio today. Ooh. We walked into the studio today. Also opened a desk drawer and fucking pulls out a bottle of Crown Royal. I, hey, I keep <laughs> I keep I keep Crown here. <laughs> you keep Crown everywhere. Hey. There was a bottle of gin on your fucking kitchen table. No, that was tequila. Oh, was it? <laughs> even better. Yeah. Did you did you have to uh, buy buy that from a bartender behind plexiglass? No. <laughs> you have they so do that it, in Utah. So hold on, we we let's just run it back because we're fucking with it a little bit. But we have a list of weird alcohol laws from across the country, and they are fucking weird. So, number one, that you can carry alcohol onto a flight, but you can't drink it during the flight. It's yours. You brought it from home, and you can't drink it. But when that motherfucker shows up with Everclear and goes crazy, yeah, yeah, that's true. So number two, bartenders in restaurants in Utah. Work behind translucent partitions. I've never been to Utah, so is that like when you go to the store, like in a bad neighborhood, and they got the plexiglass <laughs> up? It'd, it'd be like going to TV's barbershop, you know, the bars on the windows and shit, but <laughs> plexiglass. They fucking just hand you your booze through a little cubby hole so you can't fuck them up, I guess, and steal it. That really happens. That really fucking happens. I get, but you know, I could see that because uh, bums fucking steal four locos from the shell by my work all the time. But that's four locos. What's a, what's the difference? Four locos make you fucking. But if I'm in a bar and I still gotta get my shit through plexiglass, nobody's stealing drinks at a bar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a, there are certain concepts that don't that's, happen. That's actually not true. Well, I know I know somebody who went to an undisclosed location. It rhymes with Six West. That he found a debit card on the floor, and went in there. Handed the bartender the debit card, racked up drinks all night on this debit card, and just left. That's still not stealing drinks. Not like I from mean, the bartender. That's, that's much different than going to get a four loco. Yeah, <laughs> I mean stealing a four loco. That's true. Because they, they still I mean, made their hey, money. But, I hey, but hey, if I if I picked up a credit card in there, I would tip the shit out of you. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, we about to rack it up. Did you know that in Alabama, booze labels can't be too sexy or profane? What's a sexy booze label? You know, I don't know. I really don't. The but, commercials, I've seen some sexy commercials, but I've never seen a sexy booze label. Does, it, does that mean like you, I mean, can, I, you can't have like the, the like the St. Paul label that has the big titted chick on it? You you can't have that. Does she have uh, to be covered? I would think so. Yeah. I mean, that's profane. That, <laughs> I mean, it is kind of sexy. Yeah, it's like, oh, well, I'm I'm home alone tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I got this bottle of beer. Do you know in Indiana they sell milk in bars? Yeah, because if you, I mean, if they're gonna serve drinks, it, if they're they, if they're gonna serve drinks by the serving, then <laughs> is it, hey, if it's breast milk, that's fucking weird. All right, breast breast milk is weird. Please don't sell your breast milk. <laughs> yeah, don't sell breast milk in bars. Don't sell breast be milk in bars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what kind of mustache is that? Breast milk. Yeah. Well, this one doesn't even make sense. As long as you're under the legal limit, you can drink while driving in Mississippi. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Why in the fuck would you want to do that? Number one, I don't. I don't. I, think, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I, maybe I. I've grown up. I mean, with people. I mean, I'm from. I guess. I guess I've seen a lot of shit. Because I've definitely seen people drink and drive before the laws got tough. Yeah. Like I. I mean, you know, I. I seen my grandpa with a tall boy at King Cobra <laughs> in a fucking paper bag, fucking drinking and driving. <laughs> That's what was actually going the fuck on. Sorry, I mean, he's, sorry, Grandpa, you just got snitched on. I mean, he, he, I mean, he's dead now, but that's like some real shit. And I mean, he had no shame to it. Not like anybody, like, statue of limitation. Nobody's coming to get you for that. See, th- see, this to me isn't odd at all. In Oklahoma, most booze is sold warm. That, anything, that's not, but that's anything over four percent. So you're four loco. Ah, uh, they sell it warm. That's even more dangerous. Uh, for local warm, yeah. <laughs> that's what, that's what I mean. You yeah. got you got to be real fucked up drinking yeah, warm the, the, for, the, for the, local. The quattro, yeah, <laughs> or the the ocho. And to, until 2014, you couldn't buy mini bottles in Louisiana. It was a law; they were outlawed. Little baby airplane bottles were outlawed. Those are the best. They really are. 
Because you can just fucking stick those in your pocket. I mean, they're okay out here, but when like when you're in California where the liquor's like really cheap, yeah. I mean, like you could really get tore up for a couple bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really like, could. You, you no, know, get get this. This is the fucking weirdest one. On election day, in Kentucky and South Carolina, you couldn't buy a drink. You couldn't. Oh, because the politicians back in the day used to. That's what they would do. They would buy beer. Would you? Would you be that depressed? <laughs> like my guy didn't win. No, no I mean sloshed. that's that's how you got people to vote for you. Buying beers. You would buy beers. It was like a tradition. What? Yeah. Wow. And you could sway an election that way, dude. Fuck yeah. The guy you got free beer. Hey. Hey. Fuck Ed Baker. Buy crown, crown neat. Yeah. Crown neat. <laughs> <laughs> you got my vote. You buy me some crown. You got my vote. Fucking Ed. Ed Baker. Hey, we're gonna. Oh, we'll see you. Hopefully, we see you Friday. If we don't see you Friday, we're gonna call you soon because Ed Baker's the shit. You know who else we're gonna call very soon? Johnny C. I haven't talked. We haven't talked to Johnny C in a long time. I miss Johnny C. He's actually out fishing today. Pause. He's out fishing on the fucking ocean today, so he's unavailable. <laughs> but and and if you've never met Johnny C in the middle um, of o- in the middle of the ocean playing with a stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah and uh, it's got to be a big boat. We'll just say that because Johnny C looks like big pun. Not making fun of him, but he, I don't want to be a player yeah. no more. <laughs> hey, please don't sue me over singing that song, Larry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, hey, we were singing Prince earlier. They're gonna fucking sue us about that. But check it out. Don't miss the hype podcast live at Six West Lounge from seven to nine p.m. this Friday, May twentieth. We're gonna have uh, Andy Stokes and Nathan Brennan performing live, and we got a ton of shit to give away. So come hang out. Five dollar entry fee, and and we might have might have an ex NBA All Star present hanging out, kicking it with you, and the hype podcast. Oh yeah, I gotta call that guy. Yeah, you do. Yeah, and you gotta put out this fucking episode. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I, can't I can't call him. He's like, yeah. He's like, yeah. You want me to come to your show? Well, actually, come out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Shout out to Matrix Media. And Thorn City Syndicate for hosting the Hype Podcast. But also, you already know, it's about that time. Yeah. We're about to get out of here. Catch the rest of the Miami Heat losing to Toronto. Justin's over there fucking giggling for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? He's hit Because I got to get that episode out. <laughs> <laughs> fucking former NBA star, Sean. <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> This is the hype podcast. Ahmad, with the, he, he wouldn't have done Ahmad's for shot like that. <laughs> it was motherfucking Magic Johnson. Yeah. You'd have got that shit done. <laughs> <laughs> You've been slighted, TV. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucking Oscar Robinson. <laughs> I am the host with no name. That is DJ Oh So Fresh. And we about to be out. We will see you Friday at the Hype Podcast Live. For real? For real. It's time to go. Bye, Felicia. That's how you do a fucking show.